All right, guys. Guys, it's me again. I'm today. I'm doing a test, or not a test, but the uh, the run video of the Dromeda SC418, and this is the brushless version. Right now, I have just the nickel metal in here. I got a lipo for this, but just for you know starts, I wanted to use the nickel metal. Um, and there's settings on this that you could change. So I have it, the uh, low voltage cutoff, I have that turned off because I'm using the, the nickel metal. And I have the aggressiveness for the throttle turned down a little, you know, so I save the gears a little bit. So let's go. I'm going to turn on my controller. Get to the on switch. Get some gloves. It's freezing out here. It's nice out, but freezing. pretty fast I don't know would it be worth it to upgrade the engine on this to get like a little castle creations or something like that because this is pretty fast and you know it's just a 18th scale so it's going like a million miles an hour for a scale I haven't even given it full throttle yet I don't want to hurt it Shocks are pretty good on it. Oh, that was a little violent. The brakes work pretty good. Has reverse. And this battery, maybe like 15 minutes. I don't, I haven't really timed it yet. I have too much fun driving it around. Yeah, it doesn't turn too well going fast. Still off-roading a little bit. Oh, that was a little violent. Mm. Let's give it a full blast run coming this way. But yeah, that's full speed pretty much. Which, you know, 18th scale, pretty fast. I don't really know how far the range is. I don't want to push it too much and just have it go full throttle. Yep. Oh, oh. Whoopsie daisy. Yep, this is fast. I like it. I haven't tested it in the dirt too much or on any other surface. Just because, you know, around here it's all rocks and shit like that. And like I said, I have the intensity of the throttle turned down a little bit because, you know, I don't want to kill the gears. Because I was thinking of getting, like, all the uh, aluminum parts for this, which would make it look cool and make it a little bit more robust. But, I don't know.
might feel the battery going down, but I charged it yesterday, so could be dead a little bit. I'll launch it into the tree. <laughs> nice. Pretty beast. I haven't crashed this too hard yet, but it seems pretty, pretty robust for what it is. As you know, any RC company, if you're trying to come out, the number one thing we want with RCs is durability. Oh, feel the battery going dead a little bit. Yeah. Oh no, this might be it. Okay, I got it. Put myself in a worse place. Okay, there we go. I'm caught up. There we go. One more jump and I'll let you go because I could feel the battery dying a little bit. Get up there! Let's try a different route. Haha! -ha. Here we go, launching. All right, one more jump and then I'll leave you guys. Oh no, okay. And persistent driver here. One more speed run as well. And the battery is going down a little bit. I'm full speed right now. So yeah guys, this was the uh, the run video, I finally, of the Dromeda SC 
4, 18, and this is the brushless version. And right now I'm on the nickel metal, so I've heard that the LiPo doesn't give you much more power, it just gives you a little bit more runtime. So, you know, runtime is cool. Oh, terrible. That was a bad crash. All the occupants would be dead for sure. But yeah, guys. So, I will see you guys again later.